And now back to our favourite hobby here on the internet, yelling at retards and telling them they're wrong. Japanese government officials are bringing people together to talk about their country's biggest challenge. They're holding a conference next month on the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear accident. The International Atomic Energy Agency is co-hosting the event. Ministers and experts from more than 30 countries will gather on December 15th in Fukushima Prefecture. They'll spend three days discussing how to apply the lessons learned from the accident. Japanese government officials say they'll emphasize the importance of accuracy and transparency in the sharing of information. What's <laughs> so funny now? I sometimes just think funny things. <laughs> they also say they're going to stress the need to establish better ways to protect residents who live near nuclear, nuclear plants from radiation leaks. Japan is expected to ask for international help to improve technologies for cleaning up radioactive substances and dismantling nuclear reactors. Tuna is something that is prized by many nations in Asia and, of course, in the United States. Now, tuna has now been declared to be slightly contaminated with cesium, radioactive cesium from the disaster. Now, we don't want to start a panic. Radiation levels are rather low. And, however, we have to realize that there could be hot spots. In the future, there could be radioactive hot spots from the disaster, and it has to be monitored very carefully. Now, in the field, we have an expression, quote, the solution to pollution is dilution, meaning that for the most part, the Pacific Ocean has diluted much of the nuclear waste and nuclear contamination from Fukushima. However, there are hot spots. However, there are ocean currents which don't mix the nuclear waste evenly. And therefore, we have to watch out that tuna may actually concentrate radiation in the tissue. And this is something that we have to look at very carefully, especially in the coming years, especially in the future, as we have to monitor more and more debris washing up on our shores and perhaps other forms of sea life like kelp and seaweed that also are contaminated by the Fukushima disaster. 